And of course, they entered the trigger, which spawned track unit script. Today we'll be sharing with you a script you can use in your scenarios to track any type of unit, either placed in the editor or spawned. We're going to start off by building a mission, and we're going to go to this location, and we're going to place a civilian. The civilian is just going to be our player, we're mainly going to be an observer. Then we're going to go to groups, and blue four, and we're going to go to the map. We're going to place a rifle squad. And we're going to put them right about here, face them towards the village, and then we're going to give them a waypoint, and have them go to this waypoint. We're going to set set this for seek and destroy. We're going to create another squad. We're going to go to O4, and we're going to go to FIA Infantry Assault Squad, and we're going to place these guys right about here face in this direction and we're going to give them a waypoint and have them waypoint seek and destroy then we're going to go to independent and we're going to go to FIA for them and we're going to give put down a salt squad for them and we're going to go right about here and we're going to give them a waypoint we're going to have them seek and destroy as well and we're going to set the attributes in general so that independence allegiance isn't with anybody so that basically we'll have three groups uh, attacking each other next we're going to go back to blue four and single units and we're going to go to cars and we're going to put a hunter HMG down and we're gonna basically set it so that they work with the squad and we're going to right click this guy and group him to the squad leader of this squad so now they're part of the squad and then we're gonna go to the O4 squad give the FIA squad a vehicle we're gonna give them an off-road HMG right click group them to the squad leader and then we're gonna go to the independence and give them a vehicle as well give them a truck group this to the squad leader Alright, and then we're going to do one more thing, since we're on independent, we're going to give them a helicopter, and we're going to give them a Hellcat, we're going to put the Hellcat back here, and we're going to give them a waypoint, so once they get up in the air, we're going to fly over here, and basically attack the village. Then we're going to go to OP4, and we're going to do the same thing. We'll just give these guys CSAT helicopter. We'll give them a Kill 30 Orca, and we're going to put the Orca out here, and give them a waypoint. And they're going to seek and destroy as well. We're going to go to blue four. And we're going to give them a helicopter. We're going to put the helicopter on the beach here. We're going to give them an age Pawnee. And give them a waypoint. And have them also attack the village. Alright, so far we have three squads with vehicles and helicopters from each side. We're going to save our mission and then I'm going to add something else. So let's save this by clicking the icon at the top left and we're going to put this on Malden. This is going to be named track underscore units.
But that's our mission name. I'm gonna actually go to another mission. So what I'm gonna do is grab this, which will spawn AI, and we'll go back to our mission track units. All right, so here's our mission. And we're going to basically have this trigger. So this trigger, which we're going to resize, we're gonna to go to the area widget and just kinda resize this a little. And we're gonna put this over the town, village, what have you. And then we're going to edit the trigger and we're gonna set this to anybody present. It's not gonna be repeatable, but uh, so basically what this trigger is gonna do is, is it's going to spawn like four soldiers from the FIA side. And that's about all we need to do with that. And they're going to spawn at this marker. So we're just gonna put the marker right there and we're gonna save it. What we need to do now is we need to actually add the track unit script to the mission so that we can see the units being tracked. So we're gonna go to the scenario tab at the top left and then down to open scenario folder. Okay, we are now in our mission folder. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to share two scripts. So here are two scripts that you're going to need for this mission. This main script here is the track units script. And this is the script to basically call this script into action, into function. So first let's take a look at the INIT uh, SQF script. So this script is basically just calling the main script in the mission. If you don't have an INIT.SQF, you could put this into your mission folder. If you already have one, then just take that code and add it to your existing INIT.SQF. Now, if you're gonna try this on a server, this hasn't been tested in multiplayer, but it should work. Instead of an INIT.SQF, put it in an INIT server.SQF. We're gonna go over the script after we see the script in action. So let's go back to the editor and uh, play the mission. All right, let's play it. All right, let's go to the map and let's scroll in. So you can see now that each unit and vehicle is represented by a dot based on the side that they're on. So blue will be, uh, blue four will be blue. You can see this is the vehicle and then you got the infantry. Same with O4, you got the red for the O4, their vehicle. And you got the resistance with their vehicle. And then we have the helicopter. And of course, they entered the trigger, which spawned uh, some FIA units, which are on the O4 side. And then here's the helicopter from the O4. Here's the helicopter from the uh, independent resistance. some black dots. This was the vehicle from the resistance side and that was destroyed. So as individual units get killed, their dot, as you can see, turns to black. that flew over and crashed. 
crash, he must have got shot down by a vehicle then. But each one of these dots, when they turn black, they will stay there on the map for 60 seconds. And you can change that in the script. Wow, Independent got wiped out. We go to Spectator. You can kind of see. Let's go to the script itself, so let's go back to the uh, scenario tab and then open scenario folder. Alright, let's open the track units script. Here is the uh, track unit script. This was uh, created by Demonized. Uh, you may have known him on the BI forums. Well, let's take a look at this. Now this is for the marker type. This one is easy to change. The mill dot is basically a dot as you can see on the map in the game. Basically represents a dot and if you wanted to get a different marker type all you'd have to do is go to F5 markers and you could hover your mouse cursor over the marker that you want and it'll come up with a class name and what you do is you take that class name and you put it in between the quotes here and then once you save the script then all the units in the game will have that marker type. Now here is the colors of the markers. If you have something uh, set up that's different in terms of your factions that you want to have different colors. For example, West is Blue 4, East is Ob 4, Resistance is basically independent. If you wanted to change the color to something else, so like Blue, uh, you could change it to Yellow or something. or here you could change it to red or you could here you could change it to teal or something here we have marker set marker color color black now this is when a unit gets killed in your mission that the markers on the map will turn black that's basically signifying death again you could change this to some other color if you want all you have to do is just put the color that you want there make sure that the color actually exists and then uh, that's it but here, where it says sleep 60, that means 60 seconds before that marker on the map gets deleted, and where it says delete marker mark, which is this. We scroll down a little bit more, and now let's say you had resistance in your mission. You could put that right here. You could actually put comma resistance, and what that would do is that would actually remove the dots for the resistance side. Just remember if you're going to do that just add a comma and then put the, the side that you're going to do. Otherwise this excludes civilians. So this is basically an exclusion array that excludes those dots from showing up in the mission. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, zip these two scripts up in a zip file and link up that for download. Uh, in the description of the video so when you get them put them in your mission folder just like i have here i want to thank you guys for watching for more codes and scripts take a look at this playlist